So this is just a quick comparison of a stock Toyota 86 GTS diff, which is Torsen T2 LSD, and a Lexus IS300, um, which came in all the IS300s in Australia. Pretty sure that this diff is T2 Torsen as well, and is also 358 ratio. Um, stock 86 diff, 411 and uh, yeah, T2 Torsen as well. So I'm just about to pull the back cover off the Lexus diff just to make sure that it is a 358 because there's a bit of misconception on the internet about what these ratios are. I know this is a M22 and I'm 99% sure that all M22s um, are yeah, T2 and 358. So let me pull the back of this diff off and we'll have a look inside. So one thing to look out for when you're buying diffs from wreckers is that you really want to maybe get to see the oil that comes out of it before they pull them out. Most guys will pull the diff out after they drain the oil from it. Um, this is just a pretty good indication as to the life the diff's had, so nice and clear. I specifically asked these guys to not drain the oil out, they actually gave me the whole diff with the IS300 axles still in it. So, yeah. So a couple of things with these Toyota diffs. Generally they'll have the tooth count stamped on the ring gear, um, which is like the number of teeth on the ring versus the number of teeth on the pinion, which is up the front there. This one doesn't, this has just got the actual ratio stamped on the side, which for this diff is 3.6 or yeah, 3.58 if you work it out exactly. Another thing with these is they have magnetic um, sump drain plugs. They'll always collect a bit of metallic goo on them, but what you just want to make sure is that there's no large bits and pieces floating down in the bottom. Um, this diff actually seems in really good nick because the oil is still quite fresh and there's no sort of discoloration or anything, so bit of a win. Okay, so I've got the back of both of the diffs off. Um, so 86 GTS LSD, so T2 Torsen, and IS300, also definitely T2 Torsen. Um, they're pretty much identical. I can't really see any differences in terms of what's going on inside. Um, obviously the ring gears look a little bit different, the 86 being a 411. Um, the ring gear and pinion are obviously sized differently to get the 411 ratio versus the Lexus, which is um, 358. Um, side on, the tooth profiles look pretty much the same. Um, I was worried that the IS300 diffs weren't the T2 Torsen. There was a lot of talk that, oh, they're just open diffs. And even the record that I got this from said, you know, hey, is this going into an open diff car because the diff is completely open but yeah we all know that the um, Torsen LSDs act as an open diff when you're just playing around with them on the ground it's only when you're moving do they actually have the LSD effect um, I'm gonna flip these diffs over just so you can see the external differences on the cases um, they are a little bit different on the outside alright I've got both the diffs flipped on their side um, so you see the 86 diff is Y38 and the IS300 definitely M22 obviously. Now one of the main things I noticed was that the IS300 has like cooling fins underneath it which is kind of cool but it adds a heap of weight like you can just rolling these diffs on their side you could tell that the IS300 diff was at least you know two three maybe five kilos heavier. Um, Apart from that, they look pretty much identical. I don't know the kilometers that were on, was on this diff. Um, this 86 diff has only about six, uh, 45,000 Ks on it. Um, came out of my 86 here. Um, yeah, unsure of the Ks on the IS300, but I'm gonna give it a clean up and paint it once it's ready to go in the car. Alright, and here's the IS300 diff all cleaned up, ready to go into my 86. See all those nice fins, cooling fins along the bottom. Alright, I'm going to chuck this in and uh, see how it goes. <laughs> 